Alright, hey guys, what is up? Um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to set up the Halo Reach RTE tool for the Xbox. Um, so you have to have the JTAG or RGH console. Um, it's actually really easy to set up, but uh, I got a couple of, well, I had a request on my RTE video um, asking me to show how to set it up. So here it is. Um, so to do this, you will need a USB. Of like any kind of size, uh, you'll need a computer. You need to plug it into your computer. If I can, there we go. Um, once you've plugged it in, just go and find it on your computer. Just wait for it to load. Right, uh, just get rid of that. Okay, here we go. So, what you're going to need to do is have the game also extracted into files. So, if I show you, it will look a bit like this on your Xbox. It should look something like that. Um, oh crap, I shouldn't have exit that. Oh. Um, so, what you'll need to do is just drag and drop um, these three files here. The launch rte.xex, the rteedll. Dot .xex and the uh, oh and the default dot .xex file. Um, so they are in this here. If we go to Halo Reach, those files. So you need to put those onto a USB. Um, and once you have those onto a USB, plug it into your Xbox. Okay. And then what you need to do is uh, load up XCX menu there we go or FX menu either one I have to be using XCX menu in this tutorial I'll put my computer aside um, try and uh, put it on the camera there we go uh, so what you'll need to do is press uh, right bumper twice um, and you should see your uh, IP address at the bottom. Mine's 192.168.1.12. Uh, um, that is at the moment. Well, that's what it is at the moment. It will change um, if you like. If you go online, your IP address will change most likely. Um, yeah. So locate your USB and find the files that we just transferred over and then click Y on each one and just click copy then click X, go to HDD1 uh, and then find the games folder that you create and whatnot just find out wherever your Halo Reach uh, is and you just want to paste the, uh, the files in so as you see there it is, that's one of the files done then go back over to the USB and just keep on doing each one. Um, copy the launch.rte xex file and paste that into here. Then go back over to your USB and the final one is the uh, default.xex file. Um, and this one, when you copy and paste it, it will say, Would you like to override it? Uh, just click confirm and it will just transfer over. So yeah, once it has transferred over, click on the launch.xex file, or the launch.rte.xex file. And with a bit of luck, Halo Reach should load, and you should see a message pop up. There you go. You should say done, set up successful, uh, ready for connections, click OK. Just skip uh, the intro, click on your hard drive, go to the main menu. Uh, I'll just load up this game. Going to forge or whatever. Um, so that's, that's basically all it is to set up. Um, I'll have a download link in the description for the program and everything. And I'll just be quickly showing you the program as well. Uh, just click start game. Right. So, get your laptop. And, well, just get your computer even. 
go to the go we'll go to find the uh, file of the uh, the tool that we're going to be using. So there is the Halo Reach. Uh, sorry, the Halo One Click mod. Just run that. Um, and once this pops up, go to Halo Reach. Type in your IP address. So mine is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two. I know it's not. It's one dot twelve, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Then choose a map. So I'm on Forge World. Uh, you can select your weapon if you want and do all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna skip all that and just do the jump height and whatnot. Okay, so uh, I'll just quickly show you. So as you can see, jump height is not modded. My walk speed is the same. Okay, and as soon as I click poke, as you can see, oh, the jump height has been maxed out. But you will want to also put the uh, fall damage, no fall damage, and collision damage. And click poke again, and there you go. And then you won't like die from getting hit or something. There you go. Um, that's basically how you do it. Um, also, if you get a message um, saying like the game can't load or something, uh, I think what you have to do um, is you have to go to your storage. I'll quickly show you. If you go to the dashboard again and go uh, scroll all the way over to system, go to storage, and then I think you have to press Y on your hard drive or USB, I'm not sure, depends on whatever, wherever your game is saved. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the hard drive you have to do it to because that's where the updates transfer to, I'm not sure to be honest, but um, once it loads, finally, click Y on it and click on the clear system cache and then click yes, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but um, it'll literally take about a second to do, um, and that's how you do it. Um, also make sure you have your Xbox connected to the, basically the same router as your computer. Uh, I use the Ethernet cable because it's a faster transfer method, um, and your computer has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, put them into the comment section. I'll surely, uh, well, I should probably get to reply to them within about a day or two. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe.